Hey guys, how's it going? Nazar here, or Nas. Uh, you're watching Nostalgic Reviews, and this is uh, something I've been waiting for for a while. Now, if you're a Kaido House fan, you know what this means or what this is. Um, this is Series 1, Number 2. So, this is the very first release that June and I did with uh, Mini GT right here and Kaido House collaboration. There you go, designed by June and I, metal body, chassis, yellow wheels, opening hood. Um, <laughs> so, this would be the number one. So, these were offered in this beautiful purple and this beautiful, um, I guess, like a subtle green. Uh, kind of uh, mimicking June and Mai's actual Datsun's color. But um, anyway, so this would be 01, and this is the 02. So these are the very first two Kaido House castings that came out. So obviously I have this one. Whew, um, I'm a little excited because uh, there's certain models that I get very excited of and they they mean a lot to me, like I'm a huge uh, June and Mai fan. Uh, there's a couple of uh, <laughs> uh, Hot Wheels or Mattel, uh, Mattel Hot Wheel designers that I'm a fan of and uh, June and Mai is one of them. So, um, yeah, I did have this when they first came out, this one I've had ever since the very beginning. This bad boy has been in my collection. Um, I did have the purple one as well. Um, honestly, first thing I did was order this bad boy um, when they first came out. And um, I was like, I don't really want the purple one. I really dig the way this looks. It's just like more realistic, you know, more uh, along the lines of what Juno Mai has. So... Um, you know, I just ordered this, and then later on, I uh, went ahead and ordered the purple one because I started seeing people doing reviews, and I was just like, "All right, I'll get one." So when I did get it, um, I got very unlucky. <laughs> it had some scuffage on the hood, and it had some um, just it something was up with it. I don't know what happened. Uh, someone messed up with quality control at the factory assembly factory. So. I kind of let it go. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, I sent my damaged one to my friend Joe of uh, Joe's Rush Shop and he customized it for me. I'm pretty sure that that car was the one that I sent to him. I'll show that to you after I open this up because there is a chance that this bad boy might be a chase. In which case, I'll have to buy another one because I, I want to have a purple one. So um, I highly doubt it's the chase. But, you know, uh, you never know. So let's uh, let's tear into this, guys, and uh, see what we have here. All right, so this is definitely a sealed situation. I got this on eBay for uh, not crazy amount Um I would say like roughly roughly twice retail, which isn't that bad for, you know, um, a first release Kaido house. So uh, I, I like to open mine this way. I know, I know. That way, when I open this, I put the flap back under there and uh, all of this stays kind of protected for the future. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, okay. Put the flap back in there like so. Okay, guys, so I have no idea. I don't, I'm not looking yet. <sighs> okay, let's find out together. <laughs> it's not a chase, it's quite all right. Okay, so the best way to get these out is flip it upside down and gently do this. Put your box over there. Flip it around again, lift that up, and now you are safe to uh, pick this thing up. Man. Okay, so this one does have that um, factory oil stuff on it. 
that my car had as well. Okay, so I don't really want to touch this car per se. So, ah, come on you, there you go. So I'm just gonna get some of this oil stuff off. It's been on there for a few years. <laughs> What's, what's it been like uh, three, four years, I would say, since these came out? Now, I will inevitably touch it. I think I just did. I'm not trying to be like, don't touch it, don't touch it. I just, um, my whole thing is uh, the oils from your fingers tend to uh, mess with things down the line. So, but I do want to get rid of the oil before I show it to you, before I look at this. Okay, I think we're ready. Cool. All right, <laughs> let's get rid of these distractions here. Oh, all right, so uh, here it, go away. <laughs> here it is, guys. Here is Series 1, Version 2, the purple. And man, it is nice. Look at that. I am so happy that <laughs> that was the main issue. Uh, my first one, the meatball, had a major scuff on it, like noticeable, and the roof did too. Um, so I don't know what that was all about. Um, just something happened, you know, stuff happens. So here you go, 510. Beautiful, beautiful pro street, 510. Uh, let's see, can we get that open? No, I don't, I'm not gonna open that to be honest with you. I already showed you this one's. So here's the uh, the pair. Um, the one and the two. How cool are these, man? So if you are a Kaido House collector, I highly recommend, like I'm not telling you what to collect, but I'm recommending that you pick up the um, series one <laughs> version or i guess series one um one and two the first two this is like getting the um you know the number one comic book number one spider-man comic book when it was first released in a way if you think about this like your grandkids these might be like red line editions in their world you know what i mean like when um when they grow up and uh, you're long gone <laughs> and these are not, you know, I'm pretty sure that June and my Kaido house is going to retire the Pro Street because they've already done them in every possible color, every possible variation, uh, you know, that you can think of. So I assume they're going to retire this cast and, you know, maybe make other 510 castings or whatever. I don't know. They're already doing the regular one without the pro street you know all the pro street stuff like the rear wing and all that stuff so uh yeah man so yeah i uh recommend that you pick up the first two uh they're beautiful they're simple they don't have like all this crazy stuff all over them they just have the zero um you know meatball on there and uh yeah i love the gold rim man it's like almost a chase <laughs> almost so that's really cool all right so speaking of chases might as well uh this is what the chase would look like this is a chase uh that i got from a flea market my friend uh aaron of cheap ass bricks he's a lego guy check him out if you like cheap ass bricks on instagram c-a-b <laughs> but uh yeah he went to the flea market gave me a call and he said that someone was selling a sealed uh sealed one of these this uh sea foam color right here see on the front and uh he's like do you want it i said yes i've told this story many times because it was such a weird coincidence such a weird luck you know what i mean and uh he bought it for me for like 20 bucks and uh gave it to me and i, I opened it on youtube um i filmed my whole reaction it, it like surprised me actually um I did exactly what I did to you guys. I flipped it around and uh, it was, I saw the chase in there. So how cool was that? 
so yeah there you go that's uh, basically what they look like I'm so happy I ordered this um, again I highly recommend that you um, if you're a Kaido house collector diecast collector um, I'm a huge fan <laughs> like I actually just ordered my uh, cap again I ordered um, a snapback baseball cap. Um, I had one of the first ones ever uh, ordered from the when Junimai uh, launched his website. I ordered it on launch day, so I was like one of the first customers. I know it doesn't matter; it's not a big deal, but uh, to me, it matters. You know, I was there. Um, I find pride in that. It's like a nerdy type of thing. You know what I mean? Personal pride, not like you know not even street cred it's just like it's cool i was supporting my boy i liked him ever since he was in hot wheels i have a whole collection of his dotsons uh from hot wheels and uh, all sorts of cool stuff so still need to get something autographed by him <sighs> but anyway um really happy this thing's awesome it doesn't have any issues there's like something on the roof here but that's really nothing just gently wipe that off probably Actually, I think so. I think I did. Yeah, so, wow, cool. Let's uh, move these to the side so that if I do drop it, it doesn't fall on them. Yeah, so uh, with all of that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this little unboxing with me, uh, listening to me uh, nerd out about Kaido House. <laughs> and uh, real quick, guys, remember, like, uh, it's not Kaido House, it's Kaido House. Uh, I don't think there's a sound of K or A in Japanese. So whenever you see an A, it's an A. So uh, it's like saying Junim im, im A. <laughs> it's Junim I. <laughs> Kai the house, Junim I. There you go. I always cringe a little bit when people are like, Yeah, I got this new shipment of Kaido house. I'm like, hey, what the hell, dude? Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm not judging you. <laughs> just it's it's Kaido. Kai? do so yeah bless you <laughs> what else uh yeah um guys own your collection don't let your collection own you and uh live long and prosper i guess collect what you like that's what i'm doing here there we go all right see y'all in the next one Mwah. Okay, guys, so um, as promised, this is your uh, bonus scene. So those of you who stuck around, um, these are my uh, Joe's Rush Shop. Oh, there you go. There's a sticker, Joe's Rush Shop. Um, Joe, if you're watching this, please make bigger stickers. Like, go to Sticker Mule, man. Not sponsored. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh but yeah, this is uh these are all of my Joe's Rush Shop uh Datsun 510 and Datsun wagons. Make sure this doesn't flip over. It might push that back right there. So um the purple one that that was in question is this one. So this is the uh the one man this is the one <laughs> so joe from joe's rush shop made this custom out of my damaged purple one i think it might not be and i might just not remember but i know that the purple one either joe kept or i sent it to someone else um to customize but i'm pretty sure this is it i don't know um Yeah, it looks like Joe painted those. Oops, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry. Looks like Joe painted the headlights as well. I've done a review on this a long time ago, uh, but I should do like more proper reviews on, on these uh, beautiful art pieces, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a, uh, you know, just heads up. This is bonus feature, so you don't have to watch it. <laughs> the main review is over. Uh, so yeah, Joe's Rush Shop, you guys check him out on YouTube, um, he does some amazing customs, um, mostly, uh, model kits, he does, like, slot car, uh, covers for people, 
Um, anyway, he's done a lot of amazing stuff, and uh, as you can see, his work is phenomenal, man. Like, this is straight up, <laughs> like, kind of how I said, June I, man, check this out, bro. <laughs> check this out. Got a little schmutz there. It's my bad, I think. But, uh, yeah, beautiful car. Um, I commissioned him to make this one for me, and um, I sent him... Uh, one or two castings, I don't remember. But uh, anyway, I commissioned him to make me two cars. And this is the wagon he made for me. I think he actually sent this one to me. I think it was uh, the pink version. And um, I already had one. So I sent this one back and I was like, hey man, I would rather have this as a custom by you. And uh, that's what happened with this one. So, yeah. So he's known for his uh, weathering and rust stuff, um, and this is one of those, um, you know, barn find. That was the word. I was sorry. I got quiet. I was. I forgot barn finds. Finds term. So yeah, he made this one as well. So these are just beautiful two customs that he made out of uh, Kaido House castings, and I think he did a fantastically phenomenal job. And I don't use the word phenomenal, so... <laughs> so yeah, these are just beautiful, man. Um, so with that being said, let me show you some of... Uh, like I told you, I'm a Juno Mai fan. Uh, I'm also a... You know, a, a fan of customs, and... Uh, Again, these are all by Joe. This is I have a lot of customs by a lot of different customizers. But right now, since we're on the whole Junemai first release stuff, and Junemai designed the Hot Wheels Dotsons as well. So um, this is Joe's Rush Shop. Uh, I bought this at uh, the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction that we hold here on uh, the Nostalgic Channel. And Joe usually donates a bunch of customs to be sold, and they always get sold out. And I usually buy a bunch of them as well. <laughs> so do my friends. Uh, this one, I kept bidding up and bidding up because I was not letting go of this beautiful custom that Joe made. He made a freaking uh, Datsun 510 Bluebird freaking convertible. And he had this little piece here uh, that fit just perfectly. And uh, I mean, look at this thing. You ever see a convertible Datsun 510? <laughs> I'm sure, you know, there's someone made a custom of this before. I don't know. i never seen it. Uh, but when Joe made this and this was available for bidding, I was bidding on it. Uh, yeah. Cost me as much as a Kaido House Chase. That's right, kids. So uh, customs is where it's at. I need to brighten this up, man. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, it's hard to... Uh... Gauge the colors here. Beautiful, man. So yeah, that's one of those. Uh, let's see. And then he made this set, which uh, I also bet on. Look at this beauty. This little wagon with really cool uh, water slides on it. 71 Datsun. And he basically made like a a pair. <laughs> this would be cool in like a two pack, like a Hot Wheels premium two pack. Yeah, really neat stuff, man. So, yeah, he always does uh, extra detail. He always uh, drills and taps the customs. By no means am I like doing an ad here, <laughs> but I, I love his artwork and uh, this is a, an appropriate uh, bonus feature. I think. So yeah, oh, man, this was one of the other ones. I have some of his other ones, like uh, he has different levels of skill uh, that he applies to different cars. And uh, this was another one. I watched uh, him make this on his channel. Uh, he would do like little updates of his uh, work on this one. So I absolutely love this little one as well. And here's another Rust Shop one. This one I've had for a while. This is one of the first ones I got from Joe. This one's another uh, barn find. Yeah. 
And the endless one. So yeah, uh, there's your little Kaido house pieces there. Ooh. So uh, yeah, man. What do you guys think of uh, Joe's Rush Shop stuff, man? There. So um, actually, let's see. I'll very quickly show you some of his other customs. I have a lot of customs and uh, I have another full case of uh, Joe's customs. I'm not going to pull them all out, but I'll show you some of his amazing stuff that has nothing to do with Datsun. Okay guys, just real quick, I'm going to sign off after these two. Check this out, he made this one in Ukraine colors for me. Uh, this was actually sold at the auction uh, to another friend of mine, Chris Sheets. Uh, He's actually on the board here as well, this guy, Ghostbusters Quick Response Unit. And um, so um, Chris bought this and uh, eventually sold, uh, sent this to me. Um, it was a total surprise. I was amazed because this thing is just phenomenal piece, man. Oh, look at those white walls, metal everything. Just awesome. And here's another one of Joe's, a little Porsche. Really well done on the uh, rust effects. Maybe it's a little too bright. There we go. So there you go. So yeah, guys, uh, that's that's how the cookie crumbles. There's my Kaidos. Hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, <laughs> the bonus features, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Rah!